Shadow is probably the best known cloud PC entity in the cloud gaming industry right now. They recently had some setbacks with going bankrupt, being bought out, and not knowing the direction of the company, and not having up-to-date hardware to play the latest games. Now they do have a plan for that, but other cloud PC companies do have better hardware and are still not as popular as Shadow. Why is this? AirGPU has plenty of tiers for up to RTX 3080 caliber 4K gameplay, same with maximum settings, and Shrine. So why haven't they achieved a level that Shadow has? Bad marketing? Maybe. They haven't been around as long? Possibly. But the real answer is accessibility. Now what do I mean by that? Now you have to understand that a cloud service is only as marketable as the usability of the product. Meaning that no matter how well the service is, if people have a hard time connecting to it and using it, they are less likely to use it. Convenience and ease of use is everything. If you want cloud gaming to go mainstream, things are going to have to work with a push of a button. No ifs, ands, or buts. Not everyone is a techie like you and me who are willing to set up Parsec or Moonlight, install this, set up that, configure this there, to that there. No one has time for that. The average person is never going to want to do that, and to be honest, I'm pretty sick of making tutorials on how to do this because no one should have to. That escalated quickly. Sorry, didn't mean to blow out your ears there. This is why Shadow is king of the cloud PCs. Even though they might not have the best hardware as of now, but the usability and accessibility of their app on various different platforms is what's keeping them ahead of the pack. All you have to do is sign up, install the app, log in, and play. It's as simple as that. All I need to do on my mobile device is pull out my phone, log into Shadow, download and play whatever I want to play, and play it. All they're missing is a browser app. Every other company out there promoting a cloud PC is lacking this, and this is what's holding them back. We can't really market something that the masses won't be interested in. That's not good for cloud gaming. Now, do I think Shadow will deliver with their power upgrade? I believe they will. They have to. They lost way too many customers with the removal of the other tiers they had, let alone the price jump for the base tier. Be assured this is their number one priority. Why? because there are other companies in development right now getting ready to launch their cloud PC rental service with their own native apps that will go up directly against Shadow very soon with GPUs higher than the RTX 3070. And guys, I am dying to talk about them, but I'll have more info on them soon. Now in the meantime, let us know what you think in the comments below and what cloud gaming topic you want us to talk about next. So make sure you subscribe to get the latest news on Shadow and the upcoming Cloud PC services at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle. This is the Black Knight. I'll see you in the next one.